Alright, looks like I am live, so let's get this started. Okay, this is going to be new. I've got a new sound set up. I am using Voice Meter Banana, odd name, to help with some of the audio issues, so I get like this odd double echo in my ears. Now, see how this goes. Also, no camera, because apparently my camera decided that it wants to break today. Which is annoying. Oh, well, life goes on. Okay, so this is my roughly first look at the Divinity Original Sin uh, Game Master Mode. I have already poked around in this a little bit, so I'm not going in completely blind. But I always feel it is just as educational to see how to do things wrong as it is to see how things are done right, so... This will be watching me blunder my way around prepping for my more practiced video on how to set up a campaign. Hey, you can see I've already started screwing around a little bit. I am not a graphics artist. I, uh, I really need to hire some people to do some art for me. Regardless. All right, we need to create a new campaign. I'm going to call this Learning Campaign. I can, like, spell it correct, that would probably be nice. I mean, the words right there. Uh, let's see here. This is a test, and only a test. All right. Because, I mean, if you need help writing the description, you've got other issues besides using the tool set. All right, so... The main thing I'm having to adjust to mentally, that's definitely a, a mental adjustment for me, is the fact that this is designed for a heavily curated game. It is not designed for players to go through automatously. Alright, so... Map, change map image. Basics that we have. I will guess I'll just leave it for that one right now. And I think this doesn't actually matter at all. I think this is just for the DM to visually represent the players where they are, if I am understanding the stickies from the tutorial correctly. I still need to try to run through a game with people to actually try this out. All right, let's... Take this, um, there's here, I know I'm going to want a village, so the general idea is that you've been called in to investigate some strange ongoings in a village. Let's create a new scene, I'm just going to call this the village for the moment. And let's see here. Of caves, caves, deserts, dungeons. Farms, forests. Come back to the forest. Some of these will be pretty good, I think. Uh, ruin shack. No, definitely don't need ruins or cemetery, small pond, village ruins. Uh, Exterior states. Don't need a states. That's good to know, though. Alright. Seriously, there should be some villages. Do we have... Yeah, okay. Here's the search bar. Let's see here. What happens if I type in village? There we go. Um, beach, harbor, cobblestone, village, forest. Let's do a village forest. Why? And if... Hold on one second. I've got pets that are being annoying little butts. Goody, be nice. Don't bug the cat. All right. Sorry about that. I am dog sitting for a friend. And she's a grumpy old lady towards my poor little kitten. 
All right, so if I'm remembering correctly, I can just drag this on and yay, it creates a pin. Okay. So let's load this scene. Okay, so what do I got? Okay, yeah, see, this is what, ah, this bugs me. There's no actual, like, transition or way of opening the doors. Now, granted, I guess it might be like that in the main game, too. Although, see, I haven't gotten out of Fort Joy yet. It seems like, you know, you're able to go into the fort pretty seamlessly. Okay. Uh, this is not much of a village. All right. Oh, no, not a... Nope. Resume. Uh, overview map. There we go. Let's delete that. Oh, cannot delete current level. Okay, I need a different level. So let's create a new scene. Meep. Uh, let's see here. Let's try... There is a cobblestone streets. Houses and bridge. Let's try this one. Load. Hey, we actually get a couple of, uh, actually get a couple of houses this time. So. Let's. Oh, pretty constructive, but let's work with what we got. Um, this looks like it would be a good investigation point. Yeah, I can just drag a sticky. There we go. Transition to... Interior. Player should not see that. Okay, so now go back to the overview, create a new scene. Ruined a dwelling. Let's see what we have on interiors. Do I have interior ruins? No, that, that's not going to work. Interior. No. All right. State. State. Layer. Tavern. Be a good one to put in. The tavern. Basement, 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 basement. Let's see what the layer looks like. Load scene. Well, I would prefer more ruins. It looks like that's one of my options. Let's see here. New scene. Meep two. Um, it's about ruin. Ruins, exterior, exterior, exterior. Looks like everything with the ruin tag is that. Let's see here. Attic, attic, basement, 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 basement. Lots of basements. Holy jeez. Um. Cozy estates, layer we just looked at, mountain home, refuge, several rooms, two rooms, furnished. What it looks like. What is this? Loading. 
Very obviously a basement and very obviously not what we want. Okay. So back. We'll just stick with the layer then, so for this one. Rename this to village. Rebind this. That. Don't need this for the moment. Delete scene. Oh, right. That's my current level. Let's load the ruined building. This out. Okay. Can I? Candles on and off. Move the candles. Here, do I have? Okay, I can move things around. All right, let's creatures and items. Go here with items, consumables, containers, mechanism, weapons, equipment items, which I guess has nothing in it because it's locked. Exported items, nothing. Not creatures, there's no... I guess that means there's nothing in those categories. We do have undead, we do have skeletons. Oh dear, the undead are a little bit of higher level here. I can modify that. Got some um, flesh eating ghouls that aren't too high a level, and bone widows. What are those? Giant bone spiders. Okay. How the heck does something that scary level one? Monsters. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a level 20 frost dragon living in this house. Hope you enjoyed this adventure. Die now. <laughs> yeah, no, don't do that to your players. Contrary to what some people believe, the goal of a GM is not to cause a party wipe. Alright, so... Mechanisms... Hatch... It's actually usable to the player? What happens if I push this down? Put this down. Manage... Basic stats, unidentified sockets... All right, so it's just a hatch, and it doesn't look like it's interactive. This game mode, at least. I need to test that. You know what? I am. Well, let's see. I don't see anything in any way. I can actually. No way to see the maps in here either. If I switch back here, I'll be in the overworld. Yeah, that just really bugs me that the players can't initiate transitions on their own. You know what, I guess we can good spot to put this secret hatch. Table? No, maybe. Delete? Okay, I can't get rid of the table. Can I do marquee selects? No, I cannot. I how do I rotate it something? No, using key modifiers isn't working. I saw it still drags me around. Turns things on and off. Um. All right, let's see here. Options. Rolls. Camera, camera, camera. All right, Game Master stuff, toggle, set, help, session.
Oh, well, now this is interesting. All right, let's cancel out of that. Okay, seriously, there's got to be a way to rotate items. I refuse to believe there is no way to rotate. Okay, arrow keys do not work. Right click drag does not work. Left drag does. Middle mouse, okay, do I need to drag and then do middle mouse? No, middle mouse still controls camera. Now there we go, scroll the middle mouse. Oh, that's counterintuitive. I guess I can move that over there. Do we still, we have floating candles? Oh, okay, looks like they. Pro left clicking is a pretty effective way of doing things. Or getting rid of stuff. Here's. Seems like I'm getting cut off a little bit when I start talking. Probably need to adjust my audio settings a little bit. Oops. Okay, so that gives me the general idea. So I'm just gonna do that. Now, let's make this hidden. Hi. I would like to make it hidden. Uh, it's a hatch, yes. Hmm. Huh. I can set a price to it. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how that works. You're going to steal the hatch off the floor? You are a mighty good thief, sir. Could be a way of setting things invisible. Traps. Poison cloud pit. Manage. I mean, this definitely seems like this kind of thing I should be able to make invisible. But it is not happening. Well, that's something that definitely needs to be looked up. You know what? I'm going to hop over to my other screen. Ah, I need a quieter chair. Okay. Game Master... God, I don't have a link to the wiki in the Game Master area. But I do can easily find it in the modding section. Go figure. Okay. Um, Game Master mode. Which is direly unfinished. Lovely. Oh, okay. That's actually a bit of a problem, not being able to hide anything. I mean, of course, you always have the, uh, the hacky way of doing it, which is to drop down a sticky and say, player search. 
up down a hatch here. Which is a pathetically hacky way of going about doing things. Hmm. I feel like Seedwerg herming over here. Broken, undead. Yes. Okay, so I can I can deactivate critters. Okay, so unpausing the game allowed some of my changes to take effect. Like actually creating that poison cloud there. There's no deactivate for objects. Activate, and now the ghoul is visible. Yes, and I can make him walk around. Hmm. Interesting. I have to paint surfaces. Okay, yeah, I've got to re erase that surface. Obvious, I guess. So it just seems like I should be able. Disable. Ah, there we go. Tick. Kathonk. And Control Z does nothing. Good to know for painting surfaces. Yeah. It. All right. Well. Huh? Hmm. That really bugs me. Within it. Made items. No, it doesn't. Nothing really comes up. I 
Out of curiosity, will it actually let me... Uh... I recognize that's an interior. Oh no, here's rain. Graveyard rain. Will it actually let me do it? It does. <laughs> Which I guess actually makes a little bit of sense, given that this was a ruined um, building. Still, I find that amusing. Have heavy rain inside the house. Okay, stop playing around. Interior, just standard. Interior lighting, if you please. Dark. About interior upstairs, oh one. That looks a bit. I don't know. Oh, okay. That music. There we go, got some ghost whispers coming across. You know what, probably should. Hmm. How do I get rid of music that I've assigned is the next question. I guess that's all Ghost Whisper. started the music, but I can't figure out how to stop it. Huh. That's kind of a problem, actually. is a bit of a problem. So what happens? Is this information saved? Go to a different scene and see what happens. I 
is still playing. Can't tell if it's because if I'm do if I'm doing something wrong or if the system's just ugged. Well, I assume this is bar performance. Oh well, moving on. Let's see here. Creatures, toys, civilians. I got plenty of civilians here. Probably wouldn't have any rich citizens. Table. Let's see your items, mechanism, containers, consumables, weapons, operation, tables. Sorry about that. That was the dog who needs to be quiet. Guys, out of the way, and now operations. We have chairs. We do have chairs. Some plain old stools. Here you go. Regular old chairs. Now, better yet, I possess you. Pause the game. Make you sit down. And possess. Yay! That did work exactly like I expected. A little bit fiddly, to be perfectly honest. It's a very faster way of doing this. Items. Let's drag there. Nope, I just get not enough space messages. So I do actually have to possess him, make him use it, sit down, unpossess. Oh, wow, would that be not fun for a large scene? Oh, well, it is what it is. Um, let's see here. Do I have searches? I do. Here we go, plates. Be on the table. Okay. Can't just drag it in directly. All right. Whatever. 
Tankards? Do we have tankards? No. Mug. Yay, okay. Yeah, mugs of blood. <laughs> ah, okay. The mug of beer. Same annoying thing, okay. Manage. Um, doesn't seem to be any way for me to set ownership. Oh, we've got raw meat. That's not exactly what I want. This would be consumables anyways. Food. Prepared. Pick those up. Let's see here. I can put Corbin stew in front of him. Mashed potatoes. P okay, pizza. Wasn't aware that was a thing, but why not? All right. No. Oh, a bit aggravating. As far as setting things up on a table goes and making people sit down. All right, surface painter. Cloud. really want poison. Oh, hold on. Let's see here. Frost explosion, death fog, oak, fire, water, blood. Don't like that. Well, the players don't have to walk right up to the door anyway, so that's primarily a visual effect. So that means I would want to modify the sticky. And the stench of decay. Strong around this house. And the door is not locked. Okay. Oh, I don't actually want load the scene. Move this guy over here. Like maybe right. rotate him. Deactivate. Make sure he is actually deactivated. Yeah, 
like encounters. Uh, let's create a new encounter. Enemies. Behavior is enemy. You belong to enemies. That should cause him to go hostile once he gets activated. Boy, I wish there was a way to test this. So then this would be a spot where we put a stick. And as the players search a monster loads out of the cabinet. Okay, yeah, he's a little bit big. Because it amuses me, Monster Closet. As soon as they search that, you do that. Is there a way for me to star the hatch? Um, no, I can grab one. Like it's already populated with a few things. Okay. I think that, that is almost enough to a basic campaign. Kind of, sort of. Let's see here. So if I was going to finish this out, scene, basement, which of course, just a small one, basement C, that looks fairly small. I load scene. Again, surface painter, surface, blood. Good last time doing large splotches. Going back and edit, erasing it in smaller bits. So let's try that. Nope, can't go smaller than one. Now that does, I think, create a better pattern than just using it by itself. I definitely want readable. No, it's not. Uh, manage, use to read, book content. Good me. This is a test. Ah, no, I did not mean to. That just went into my inventory, didn't it? Um, where is GM inventory? There. Oh. 
Okay. That did exactly what I thought it would. Now let's... I'm assuming it'll just automatically keel over to the next page. It's always good to double check. Okay, yeah, it does automatically just tick over. Of course, no spell check, but that makes perfect sense. I wouldn't expect. Ooh, is this? No, okay, I must have. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Yep, okay. Yeah, there's no overwrite. So, does control A work in this box? No, it does not. Marquee select does. That is worth track of. So the players then would have to read that book, which would reveal the location. Obviously, I want to fight in here. Let's go into encounters, create new encounter. This is again. Two critters. Oh, I don't want civilians. Un dead, if you please. It's a bone crawler. Yeah, okay. Literally a bunch of crawling bones. You. Now, the question, manage, can I lower his level? Is an enemy. Oh, I can give him a custom stat, custom stat tooltip. Not. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to be tied. No way to tie that into mechanics, which isn't all that surprising. But I was not aware that was there. Good to know. Like, ah, here we go. Pull him down to level three. Does that also lower his stats? Yes, it does. Awesome. I could say pull him down to level two. Assuming this is a level one party coming into here. Also be able to handle You know what? Like these little bone widow, <laughs> little uh, bone widow things are look pretty cool. Should be able to get out of there. But I can actually test that. I shouldn't assume. Let's possess. Unpause.
There we go, turn it back around. Okay. I think... Again, balance... I really need to find someone to help. Because I don't know... What level you come into Thanes, or if there's... Okay. There, no, that's... Edit campaign metadata. Nope, that's not what I need. Save the campaign. Reload assets. Options. No, there we go. I can give rewards to players. Death windows, which I don't need right now. Scenes. Maps. Create a new scene. Ruins. That. Be here. Forest ruins. I want something fairly small. Ruin shack. Let's. Do that one. Back. Back over here. Toggle the visibility since they're not supposed to know about that until they've uh, read the appropriate text. All right. Um, let's see what this looks like. Here I am getting close to an hour, which is when I got to bail out of this. Too bad, not too bad. All right, start point. Put the players here. Apparently they're not allowed to get too close to the edge. I would like... Items. Pile. Bone piles. Piles of body parts. Flesh piles. Oh, that's pleasant. Bone pile look like. Veins on top of each not to look like it. No, I don't need an item generator. Brown dirt. No. Can't forget. Just kind of drifted away from the mic there. Sorry. It uh, looks like I don't have much in the way of piles, and I can't really stack them. Let's start. Okay, so I can auto-generate loot. Nice. That, that's not what I want at the moment. Sticky. Ah. I can drop down a sticky and 
Seriously, I should be able to drop this down a sticky anywhere I darn well please. Open sticky, so this would be... Ground entrance. Player search. So, big number X, since I don't actually have any vignettes to sign to find yet. Move files and replace with stone hatch. So that should be simple enough. Control click to destroy it. There's my stone hatch. Hmm. No way to control Z out of that, though, is the only thing that really bugs me about that. Or change you save when you're running the game. I don't know. I need to look that up. Okay, regardless, I got to destroy that and get my bone piles back. Again, that whole, I got a little bit better placement abilities after I drag it into the scene first. Let's actually just move this out of the way here. Okay. Then... Let's deal with the big net. I need to get one of those. Okay. So change image. All right, we got. Well, I wouldn't say plenty of options, but I at least have options. Okay, and this would You know what I think that tile I don't know if that title is shown to players or not um Drop it to although I don't really see the point of that Well, I suppose I can... I can move it, I suppose. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this, bringing in my uh, stuff that I can make with Campaign Cartographer. That's actually gonna uh, enable quite a few interesting things, I think. Being able to bring in external images. Okay, so I think for the moment that is good. So searching the bone pile.
So going back to my stickies. Open sticky. Probably should put in the actual name in the vignette. So show searching the bone piles. Players ignore the sounds. Give spiders a buff. We give the spiders a bug. I'm sure the spiders would appreciate a bug, but uh, let's see here. Again, let's go to those bone spiders. I get the feeling those bone spiders are going to be like my favorite enemy. Bone spider. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Let's select the bone spider. Iron. Apply status to target. Encouraged. Raged, entangled, invading, hastened. Yeah, courage would probably be a good buff. Now, let's open up encounters. Two enemy. So, how did you guys get automatically put into an encounter and the other things did not? I select both of them at the same time? No, I cannot. Pause and unpause to make sure they're deactivated. And unfortunately, that is time for me. A couple of people did join in for the live session. I appreciate it. Thank you much. Hope it was at least marginally entertaining. Um, I will hopefully be doing this again a little bit later tonight and sometime tomorrow. And of course, like I said at the beginning, I will be producing a full tutorial video on this. So until then, this is Landguard from the basement signing out. Thank you.